the ra uh, rationality is God didn't call them. Because the Bible makes it clear that God only reveals the, his truth to those who serve him. He only reveals the truth to the saints. He only re reveals the truth to those who fear him. If you don't fear him, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, then you're not going to get understanding of the word of God because it's not for you. This is what people don't understand. This is why the Pharisees didn't get the truth. They didn't, he didn't call them. And it's... Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel. Before I get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom all, right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So you got another loud mouth woman here running her mouth. Don't know what the frick she talking about. Sound like Frogger. So, but and this is the elder um, GMS South Carolina 08, the elder Manat the Zakba, um, out there. That's his, his channel right there. So he did a lesson and I watched his lesson. So I'm going to go at it from a different angle than what the elder went at it from. First off, she said, oh, the um about the, the Pharisees. And, and, and all that the Pharisees wasn't given the truth. Well, let's see. Let's see. Apostle Paul was a Pharisee, but let's see. Let's see. John three and one. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shah by night and said unto him, Rabbi, Master, we know that thou art a teacher come from the Most High. He said, We. We, he said, we know who do we He a Pharisee. So you think the Pharisees, we probably hanging out with other Pharisees. We know that thou art a teacher come from the most high for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the most high be with him. That's one. That's one of the things that she, she was off in error about. Let's get this one. Now she said about. The law, let's get this one, Amos 3 and 7. Amos 3 and 7, right? Watch, watch where I go with it. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto the servants, the prophets, right? The prophets, right? So who are the prophets? Who are the prophets? Let's get it. James. Where is it at? James 5 and 10, I think. James chapter 5 and 10. Take my brethren, the prophets, my sister. Take my brethren, the prophets. Oh, the women. Take my brethren, the prophets, who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Yeah. My brethren, my brethren, my brethren. The Lord is not calling women. The Lord is not calling women to teach. So, so if the Lord not calling women to teach, what is she talking about? What is she doing? Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to is to the sons of men. The Lord not call, he not calling no women to teach. So you out here talk about the Lord giving his his um understanding to the people that are called. He didn't call you. He didn't call you, Frogger. He did not call you. Isaiah. Yeah, I was sitting, I was thinking, I mean not Isaiah, Salaki, um, Revelation. Yeah, I'm sitting around thinking they love to say the Pharisee, the Pharisee, the Pharisees. It was other people in the scriptures wicked besides the Pharisees. They wasn't the only ones. But let's stay on this point real quick. Revelation chapter three, I'm um, 21 and three. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of the most high is with men and he will dwell with them. And, sh and they shall be his people and the most high himself shall be with them and be their power. Men, 
The Lord not calling women. He not calling women. And I ain't like the elder said, I ain't even going to get the scriptures where women shouldn't be teaching. Women shouldn't be teaching. Shut your beak. Shut your mouth. Shut your pie hole. Shut up. Stop flapping your gums. Stop running your mouth. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up. Not this. Um, 34? It's 34. Ezekiel 34 and 31. And ye, my flock, the flock of my pasture, are men. And I am your power, saith the Lord power. Yeah. It's, this is simple. The Lord didn't call women to be teaching. The Lord didn't call women to be giving a, breaking down scriptures. Because he said they, he ain't get them that. He ain't get them. Back, back, back to Job. Let's get this one. He didn't get them to understand and to do that. He didn't give it to them because y'all go off feelings. You go so the how you de interpret the scriptures going to be how you feel at that time. Your feelings ain't got nothing to do with, with, with the scriptures. Job chapter 39 and 17. Because the Most High have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. Right there. Right there. So let's get back to it. Some more, uh, more, more um, situations where where it wasn't just wasn't the Pharisees, the Pharisees. What about what about matter of fact? Before we get there, what about wicked ass women? How about that? You know, no. Let's talk about the wicked ass women in the Bible that the Bible talk about. Let's get some of them scriptures real quick. Let's go. First Edges chapter four and thirty seven. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. I don't see Pharisees in here. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them. Now you see why. You heard her. And I couldn't. I ain't want to play the whole video. Like a five minute video. Of her just flapping her gums. I couldn't even listen to her voice man. And there is no truth in them, and their unrighteousness also, also they shall perish. Yeah. Fucking running her mouth. Don't know what the hell she talk about. Let's get another one, wicked women. What 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 is wicked women doing? What is wicked women? What wicked women? Who who are wicked women giving to? Sirach 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth the Lord. Yeah. It's just running her mouth, just running her mouth. Y'all just won't shut up, just won't shut up, shut up, shut up. Here's another instance of a wicked woman. A wicked ass woman right here, Jezebel. Revelation chapter 2 and 20. And this is the spirit she in right now. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to do to answer to, and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. And she not going to repent. She going to keep running her mouth, even though she don't know what the f she talking about. She don't know what she talking about. They, they kill me with the Pharisee, the Pharisee, the Pharisee. The Pharisees was not the only ones in the scriptures that was wicked. Matter of fact, let's get this one. Jeremiah. Chapter 5, I think it's 23. Yeah, uh, 26. Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 26. For among my people were found wicked men, they lay wait. As he that set of snares, they set a trap, they catch them. Yeah, wicked men. And here's one where the people, she talking about the Pharisees wasn't given to get it. It's the people too. 
the people too. It was it's instance in here where the people wasn't getting it. Zechariah chapter 7 and 11. But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should hear. This is what she doing. Yay. They made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts have sent in his spirit by the form of prophets that we read was men. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Yeah. And not just the Pharisees that's not getting it. It's not just the Pharisees that's not, that's not going to get it. Matter of fact, let's go back to John. Let's go back to John. Yeah, I just wanted to get on a couple of points that the elder, because the elder was like, he could have kept going. And I was like, yeah, I get it, man. I get it, man. Let's get John, John 11 and 45. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Yahweh Shai did, did, did believed on him, but some. So right here you have some people that believed and some that did. But some of them, just like she don't believe, but some of them went their way to the Pharisees and told them what things Yahweh Shai had done. Then gathered the chief priests, see? They don't never mention a priest. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees a council and said, what do we for this man do of many miracles? Eh. It, 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 it's, it's not just the Pharisees was wicked, man. The priests, the nation of Israel was wicked. Matter of fact, when Yahweh Shai got um was crucified, they don't even mention the Pharisees in that in that chapter. I don't see the Pharisees at all in the, in the chapter. Look, gather together their goal. Let's see, yeah. Boom, oh, let me let me look. Let me look. I don't want to read all of this. Yeah, look. 20, Matthew 27 and 20. But the chief priests and the elders persuaded the multitude that should ask Barabbas, act, should ask Barabbas and destroy Yahweh Shah. And the governor answered and said unto them, Whether the twain will ye that I release unto you? And they said, Barabbas. And look, I don't see Pharisees in here. The Pharisees not in here. And Yahweh Shah is being this when he got crucified, put to death. It's the chief priest, it's the chief priest and, and the people. I don't see Pharisees on this whole chapter, nowhere. So this thing that only the Pharisees is wicked in the scriptures is wrong, is wrong. And women shouldn't be teaching anyway. And you loud my women going to get destroyed, man. Y'all going to get destroyed, period. Hand looking like Viena sausages, man. So with that one, man, I'm going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Shut your mouth. Shut up. You women teaching the scriptures out there. Shut up. Shalom, Israel.